we believe that actually we should be working with the people who live on estates, not just providing them with houses. And a really good way to get people to look at what's going on in their community, what's going on in their lives, uh, is through the arts. One of the partnerships we have is with the Octagon Theatre. Um, that really grew out of some work that the Octagon Theatre did in Dean. And what came out of that was really, um, you say, a, a, a realisation that actually for a lot of our tenants, the Octagon was somewhere that they just didn't go. It was somewhere that middle class posh people went from the posh parts of town. Uh, and, and yet it's sitting there in the middle of the town centre, it's putting on loads of theatre activities for young people. And so what we decided to do was actually give a grant once a year to the Octagon, which basically makes all our tenants members of the Octagon Theatre. We've got groups of women in particular, but not just women, who actually form small theatre groups, go to the Octagon on a regular basis, take the families on a regular basis, and that's great. It's great for the Octagon because actually they become a theatre for the whole town and not just part of it. Uh, but it's also great for those people because they're getting access to something that makes their lives richer, makes them think more, um, gives them something completely different to talk about that they never thought they would ever talk about. Uh, so all around, it's a winner. The project is that we was making a play, but now we've turned it into where we're making a film about a woman. She has eight children, she's in loads of debt. There are times when I just don't want to get up in the mornings and do anything. Come on girl, you have to pull yourself together and start putting the kids first, or the social will take them away. Then where will you be? On your own, lonely, miserable, and the house being more of a dump than it already is. It's everyday life, isn't it? You've got debt, you've got... It's not just this community, it's all other communities mm. as well. What were, what were you doing before this group was created? Nothing, sat on. Um, just looking at football, not long since I, I was Thomas then, so basically it was just sitting at four walls doing nothing and just in a, a vicious circle basically. So if this group hadn't had happened, what would, so would is that what you'd still be doing right now? Yeah, stop us out looking at four walls. We're still unemployed. How was the arts provision that Born at Home and the Octagon Theatre were provided for you? How has that changed your life? Well, I've got a lot more confidence. I've actually gone and found a job. You've gone and found a job? Yeah, which so, I like. Love. So how, when was the last time you were working before you got this job, if you don't mind me asking? 17 years ago. So 17 years, yeah. and then you've, yeah. now you've got a job. Yeah. And since we've been doing this, I mean, I personally noticed lots of changes within you two, but what can you say about what's what's happened to you since we started this project, what, two, three years ago? I can say, mm, since we started this, that I've grown more in confidence. So what, what, so how's, how's this confidence um, manifested itself? What have you gone and done with this confidence? Well, my confidence is where I have like a phobia of a phone. I can't ring places to complain or to tell things, but I can in a way now. So, yeah. Mm. What about you? Mine is, um, I've gone back to college. People actually discover that they've got skills that they didn't realise that they had. And so therefore, from a developing themselves, developing the community, possibly going on into employment, or volunteering, or whatever it is they want to do, once they actually discover they've got a set of skills that they haven't used before, uh, that can lead to all sorts of places that they never really envisaged that they get to in their lives. Um, in the early days we had a go at um, different crafts, um, creative writing, um, music, um, I wrote my own song on one of the groups um, and played the keyboard and had a baby on one knee, <laughs> multitasking, um, all sorts, we did all sorts but I think um, we surprised ourselves that we enjoyed more the creative writing um, and the drama and it it's really a confidence booster, I think. I feel a lot more confident now. First came along to the sessions um, because of my friend Jill. Um, I was at a low point in my life. My husband left and um, she basically I needed to get out. I don't know what it was that I got from it, but it, I just thought from then on, you know, that this is something for me and I knew that it helped me. I feel tons better you know in myself at the low point that I was at I don't think really 
If I didn't come to the sessions, I would be where I am now. I, I did use it as a kind of a counselling session. I used to go home and I tell my friends about it and how much better I felt in myself and about myself, you know. Um, because I originally come from London and um, I found it quite isolating being up here on my own at my age. It's quite difficult to make friends. So I thought if I joined the clubs, got to know the local people, get involved more, it um, enhanced my life, I suppose. Yeah, I've made a lot of new friends. Um, I've joined different clubs and do different things and go to the theatre and it just makes me happier. You meet new people, make new friends, have a laugh, you do all sorts of things, activities, plays, you name it, we can do it. <laughs> mm, it gets me out of the house and I don't have to worry about things, I just come here to meet friends and talk. It's um, about getting inform information and um, listening to different things and stories and um, not getting upset about things. Talking to different people over being depressed and having depression and that. Uh, I'm coming more and more out of it, which I feel the benefit for it, because I'm not sat at home doing nothing. And, just getting out and enjoying it now. Participating in, in, in what's around you um, can only make you, you a better person, I think. And understand more, understand more people, people that have got problems. If you can help them, why not? Players about domestic violence. Um, obviously we're trying to get, you know, put, put out um, like a message to, to people. We chose domestic violence because a lot of us had some sort of experience of it. Um, and we just wanted to show really that um, you, although that happens to a lot of people, there's a way to get through it and, and build and get past it as well. Um, show people that there's a life after that. Never done no art to know anything like that before. I mean, when I first started and said, or they might make a DVD, I thought, oh no. But I'm glad I did it. I'm being a princess at the Octagon. And next month we're doing a big show. I think I'm hoping to, to get like um, accreditation for what we're doing, qualifications, because that's good as well. Because um, with me being a stay-at-home mum now, obviously there's going to be a big gap on my CV. So that's nice that even though I'm coming in and enjoy coming in, it's giving me you know, a confidence boost and stuff as well. It's also, I can fill gaps on my CV and show that I'm still doing something. It doesn't cost us a great deal compared to the budget we've got, but actually what we get out of it is massive in terms of the engagement with tenants, the relationship between the organisation and tenant, so that we're not just seen as a landlord, but actually we're working alongside people to try and make their areas better. I think it's good that Bolton at home do projects like this because um, it gives people new opportunities, stuff that probably won't be available to them otherwise. So it is really important. Uh, why not come along? You have a laugh, you make new friends, they're all brilliant. Great to get on with. I'd give it a go.